In his briefing today, the Secretary of Defense acknowledged that the food drops into Afghanistan by the U.S. were not an ideal way to deliver food. The food is being dropped from fairly high altitudes in individual packages. We actually managed to get our hands on one of them today. It has quite a lot in it, uh, including raisins and what appear to be a couple of fairly substantial meals, very high in caloric content, peas and pasta and bean salad. It has peanut butter. I couldn't send an American aid package without peanut butter, which is high in nutrition. It has a fair amount of bread. It even has a spoon. And on all of the pocket packages, it has some fairly explicit instructions about how it is to be consumed. Though when put together, it seems rather heavy. The Pentagon says these packages are supposed to flutter to the ground without doing any damage. Now, the question in next door Pakistan today is whether the airdrop in this form is doing much good. ABC's Dan Harris has been talking to aid officials. They call it a bombs and bread mission. While attacking the Taliban and al-Qaeda, U.S. officials have reminded the public as often as possible that they're also attacking hunger. 37,000 individual food rations dropped every night. Today, some humanitarian aid workers were saying this effort is little more than propaganda. The main concern uh, that we would have with airdrops is that the, the amounts uh, of food delivered so far are, are insufficient compared to the needs. And some say the U.S. is actually doing more harm than good. The bombing raids have some truck drivers too scared to carry food into the country. Many of the humanitarian workers who stayed behind in Afghanistan are now fleeing for the same reason. The attacks have significantly hampered a large humanitarian effort, and the U.S. food drops simply can't compensate for that. Also, Alex Renton of Oxfam International says while